Joe Biden has made it a point to ignore foreign policy in their second and final debate before the elections. And of course Joe Biden wants to ignore the foreign policy. Of course he does. He knows that over a million Iraqis have died uh, due to his interventionism that he wanted to go into Iraq and start screwing around in 2003. We're still there today. We're still there today in these civil wars that we, that they're, they're designer wars. We design these stalemates on purpose. We wanted an endless stalemate in Syria, civil war in Syria. We wanted an endless stalemate in Iraq, a civil war in Iraq. We want an endless stalemate in Afghanistan, a civil war in Afghanistan. We want endless war in Israel between the Israelis and the Palestinians. We want as many endless wars in the Middle East as we possibly can, this endless perpetual war that we start in all these countries all over the place in the Middle East is a boon for the defense contractors. And I say defense, I really mean the offense companies, the offense contractors who get their revenues from the government and that means they get their revenues from the taxpayer. So we are forced to pay taxes. The government takes our money by force we don't pay taxes, we're going to go to jail. They're going to come and get you with, uh, with sticks and guns. They're going to come and they're going to force you to go to jail. They're going to use physical force on you. They're going to use violence on you. Lethal violence if necessary. If you try to resist, they'll kill you. So they'll put you in a cage because you didn't pay your taxes. And this, these tax monies go to companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, General Dynamics, Raytheon, energy companies, uh, energy adjacent companies, service companies, Halliburton, the big oil companies, et cetera, et cetera. It goes to these companies who are making profits. Now they're paying their share shareholders. They're, they're making profits on top of their revenues. They're, they're passing them out to the stakeholders of the company. So if you have mutual funds, if you have savings, if you have stocks, you're going to get rewarded uh, on the blood that people like Joe Biden love to shed. And he doesn't just like to shed that blood. He loves to share that blood. That's one of his favorite pastimes. That's his hobby. I mean, that's his one of his biggest interests in the world is to go spill blood and kill hundreds of thousands and then millions of people uh, starting all these endless wars so he can be become more popular with the American voters back home. As dumb as that is. But of course he doesn't want to discuss foreign policy in the next debate because, you know, as bad as Trump's foreign policy is, Trump is no angel. And Trump's foreign policy has a lot to dislike about it. That peace plan uh, that Jared Kushner put together between, uh, you know, the, that fake peace plan between the Israelis and the Palestinians, that was a joke. Oh, well, we have a map. At least you have a map. It's contiguous. It's contiguous, said Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner doesn't know what the meaning of contiguous is. That is not contiguous by any stretch of the imagination. You can go back to the 1947 map, uh, the UN partition plan map, before Israel was a state and before Palestine was a state. Because remember, both of these states became states. They both became nations by the authority of the exact same process, the United Nations, uh, that created Israel. So if you support the existence of Israel, you ought to be able to support the existence of Palestine too. They were both created by the same birth mother. So, but we have a double standard with that too, of course. We support the existence of one, but not the existence of the other. And then we say that, oh, well, Palestine doesn't support the existence of Israel. They, the Hamas is the terrorist group. Why? Because they don't support the existence of Israel. Why don't you read the Likud charter? Read the charter of the right-wing political group that's in power in Israel right now, the Likud party, Benjamin Netanyahu. Read their charter. They don't recognize the existence and they don't support the existence of a Palestinian state either. They don't recognize the state of Palestine or a Palestinian state west of the Jordan River. And it's stated in their charter specifically. But we don't like to talk about that. We want to ignore that. Let's 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 blame Hamas for the exact same thing and we'll completely ignore that Israel does the exact same thing. Hypocrisy, double standard, doesn't work with me for the dumb, uneducated masses out there who don't read anything, who don't know anything, who don't want to learn anything. It's okay with them. Hypocrisy is what they do every single day. Of course, Joe Biden doesn't want to talk about foreign policy in the, in the, in the debate and because Trump would wreck him. Trump, I hope Trump brings it up anyway. I hope he attacks him on foreign policy anyway because it's one of Joe Biden's weak spots. It's one of Joe Biden's weak spots, one of his weakest spots of all, as a matter of fact. And I hope Donald Trump brings it up, uh, steps on the moderator, whoever that is, and brings it up and attacks him with it anyway. Because Joe Biden 
He has a lot to account for. He has a lot to answer for. That guy needs to be held to account. His feet need to be put to the fire, and he needs to be held to account for the war crimes that he is responsible for for all these years and decades that he's been in power.